Okay, today we are covering the cell. It's a basic human cell of the body. The cell is the basic unit of life. It is very tiny and in the human body we have trillions of them. What makes up the cell? Well, we start first with the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the covering the outer shell of the cell. The cell membrane is made up a phospholipid bilayer. What does that mean? That means there are two layers of lipids. We know lipids to be fats. It looks very similar to this. Here is your lipid bilayer one, lipid bilayer two. They are made up of a head, which is your lipid head, has a tail of two, which is a hydrophilic tail. Um, there is two layers, like I said, in between the layers are water. Um, also in the cell membrane are protein structures. We'll get to that later. Um, so this is what your cell membrane looks like. In the cell membrane we have receptor sites. Receptor sites are little openings like a lock and key that only allow certain substances to enter the cell. Here we have hormones because that's what we're going to be talking about in a later chapter. Hormones, only certain hormones, may enter the cell through the membrane at certain receptor sites. So, for instance, um, the hormone that causes the sebaceous gland in the skin to secrete sebum, that's turned on by a hormone. Now, in the cells of the sebaceous gland, there are receptor sites that only receive that hormone to allow the sebaceous gland to start producing sebum. Now, they can go in and out of the cell through receptor sites. Also, there's other ways in the cell that goes straight through the cell membrane, such as food and water, and we'll get to that later in another chapter. Um, we call this selective permeability. The cell only allows in certain things um, and leaves other things out. Certain hormones cannot get in the cell through the wrong receptor site. So that's important to remember. And remember, so the hormones are chemical messengers that tell the cell specific things to do. Now, organelles of the cell, just like in the human body, organelles are little organs of the cell. Small structures that have their own function, similar to the human body, where the kidneys filter, the blood pumps, things like that. We're going to get to them more in detail right here starting with the endoplasmic reticulum, or the ER for short. The endoplasmic reticulum forms canals inside the cell that allow for movement, similar to the hallway of a building. Um, it allows for movement of uh, chemicals inside the cell. It allows for other organelles to move around in the cell. There's two types of endoplasmic reticulum. We have the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and we have the smooth. The rough it looks like this. When you see it inside the cell, it's very maze-like. And the book will tell you it's like the house of mirrors, a fun house. It's very uh, maze-like. It's very windy. Whereas the smooth reticulum is more in, in line, very parallel. On the rough endoplas endoplasmic reticulum, we have ribosomes. Now, ribosomes, we'll learn later, can either flow freely through the cell or they attach to the endoplasmic reticulum. That's all you need to know about that organelle within the cell for this chapter. Also, ribosomes, their protein construction, that's where protein is built up within the cell. They can attach to the endoplasmic reticulum or float freely like we've already said. The next organelle is an important one, is mitochondria. Mitochondria act as the cell's lungs and digestive system. They break down amino acids, which we know are the building blocks of proteins, which proteins make up almost everything, including in the skin. They make ATP, which is short for the energy required for the cell. ATP protection occurs in the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondria. We'll get into that in more detail later chapter. The Krebs cycle is responsible for anaerobic metabolism. Now we know when we say anaerobic, when we're talking about anaerobic bacteria on the skin, cannot exist in the presence of oxygen. So if you remember that, then you know the lack of oxygen 
breaks down glucose into lactic acid, producing ATP. That's good for the skin. It makes skin healthier. We're going to learn skincare treatments that are going to produce ATP and speed up cellular metabolism. That's going to make skin healthier. That's the whole purpose of doing these skincare treatments. My mitochondria, you can think of it as the powerhouse of the cell that makes it more easier to remember. Now, a picture of that. These are very elementary pictures, but this is what it would look like. Think of it like a little jelly bean structure within the cell. It's got its own little canals and hallways through it, and this is what it does. Remember, cells, lungs, and digestive system makes ATP. ATP is required for cell activity. Then we come to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is the packaging and processing plant of the cell. It, pre it prepares proteins for secretion. Um, the Golgi apparatus is a funny looking seaweed looking object within the cell. Um, not much to know about this for this chapter, we just need to know that it's the packaging pro uh, processing plant. The next organelle is lysosomes. Now lysosomes are your garbage disposal. They manufacture digestive enzymes including the self-destruct. The digestive enzymes are what's going to break down the food in the cell. When the cell is near death or at death, it will continue with an enzyme. It releases an enzyme that causes the cell membrane to dissolve. When the cell membrane dissolves, all the contents spill out, the, 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 the cell dies. So you got to remember that the self-destruct is your lysosome. That's important to remember. The next organelle is vacuoles. Vacuoles are storage rooms for extra food and waste. They also maintain the cell's pH, also give the cell its shape. So vacuoles, think of a vat. Vats hold whatever. So vats of extra food, vats of waste. That's what you're going to remember. Vacuoles are vats, storage and maintain cell pH. The next organelle is the most important one. That's the nucleus. The nucleus is the brain of the cell. It contains DNA. Um, there is a nuclear membrane around the nucleus. It's very similar to the cellular membrane on the outside. Also semi-selective uh, permeability. Also has receptor sites that allow certain chemicals within. Inside the nuclear membrane is our nucleus. That's what encases the nucleus is the cellular membrane. The nucleus controls the cell's function, just like a brain in a human. It contains the DNA. The DNA is our genetic makeup. It tells which cells to do what. Made of protein. Everything's made of protein when we're talking about the skin, and it's the same with the cell. The nucleolus is the um, creator of the components for the rib uh, ribosomes that we spoke of earlier. The nucleus is within the or the nucleolus is within the nucleus. The nucleus is encased by the nuclear membrane. Now, this is all you will need to know for this chapter. It's a very simple, simple explanation for the cell. Um, we will get into more of how this all works together at a later date.